I have a big hole in my wall because I learned the hard way that when you take off these plastic hooks, you're supposed to pull down on these adhesive tabs. I didn't use those tabs, so now I gotta fix this. I can't just paint over it because it won't seal to the paper, and there will also be a noticeable gap between the old drywall. So to fix it correctly, the first thing I need to do is get a joint knife or a razor blade, then I'll go around the area to clean off any old paint or paper. I need to clear any loose material so that it seals correctly. Next, I highly recommend getting some shellac based primer because it pretty much seals to anything. You can get these in a quart or gallon, but I recommend just using a spray can like this. When I spray it on, I'm going to apply it directly to the paper and a small area around it. The shellac base is very thin and goes on kind of like oil, so make sure you have your knife ready to catch any runoff and work into the paper. Once it's applied, it dries very quickly, so make sure you have a wet rag available to clean off your tools. Also take a second to clean off the nozzle on your spray can so it doesn't plug up, because that's just the worst. After about 15 to 20 minutes, the shellac base will dry and turn a slight yellow color. Once you feel it's dry, grab some joint compound, and then we're going to apply it to the patch. We put on the shellac primer first to seal the paper, and it also gives something for the joint compound to adhere to. I'm going to apply a lot of joint compound because my wall is heavily textured and I'm going to try to match it. Don't worry about getting it perfect now, because you can always apply more or sand it down. I'm now going to let it dry overnight, then I'm going to go back and sand it down to try to get it to match the rest of the texture. I just cleared off the dust, so the next step is to apply a coat of primer before I paint it. If you don't have paint primer, you can also just use the shellac that we used earlier. I put on the primer, so now I'm going to let it dry, then I'm going to put on two coats of paint. Again, always make sure to use primer before paint, otherwise it won't seal correctly and the texture and color could be off. I let the paint dry and the final result is that I couldn't even tell where the tear used to be. The lesson learned is taking the time to do it right makes all the difference. Hopefully this helped you so you can go out and help someone else, because that's what it's all about. Thanks for watching and have a great day.